Hello guys, Mikijib here and today we got a new banner that got released today. It's called the Black Raymond Selection Order and it is a guaranteed banner that costs 2500 AG and it is featuring all 4 star skill record that are Kato Colored. Um, I'm not sure what it means but yeah, uh, that is what the banner is stated. This banner is available for 2 weeks from today and here is the list of the skills that are in the banner. There are 15 skill records in this banner and of course we are going to have a look into one of each. Let's start with the very first skill, a Black Knight's Rest Alice. It is an awakening passive skill that increases your break gadget which is pretty good against bosses that have a break mechanic, especially during uh, GOG. It also gives you up to 500 flat attack when you are attacking with blunt element, aka with axe or maze, which is even greater for GOG when the boss is weak to blunt. For the rush collection, it will increase your attack by 5% at level 5 awakening level. Amazing passive skill, I would say. Next, we have playing in the black Yuki, an awakening dagger skill that many players really want. It is slash an earth element with 18 SP cost, which is pretty amazing, and when you use it on the switch, it will apply 3 elements, burn, bleed and frostbite. Uh, also, thanks to your weapon prophecy, proof of feed, you will also apply poison, which means you are applying 4 elements used in one switch. Not only that, if you, you will also increase the stacks if the boss is already poisoned by 5, so that means you're gonna stack all the elements by 5, which is from 1 to 6, so really good. Really good dagger skills for floor 81 against the Lundgren or GOG that has a lot of uh, auto healing. Rush collection is recovers your HP up to 20% of your max HP. Then we have information dealer in black Argo. It's a two handed sword skill that is blunt the wind element, 26 SP cost, and the damage percent is at 1420% at max limit break. It is a regular skill that doesn't stand out too much, but is, it is kinda good for upcoming GOG where the boss is weak against Blunt and Wind. Black Embrace Lizabeth is a support maze skill that is also an awakening skill. It is Blunt and Holy with 28 SP cost and is kinda high SP, but with the help of the damage buff that provide, the SP cost isn't an issue. Rush Collection, it increases your damage on switch up to 50%. Um, I would say it's an amazing support skill against blunt weakness boss, especially for the upcoming GOG and the future blunt weakness bosses. Black Information Broker Argo is a two-handed burst spear skill with trust and earth element, a skill that can buff yourself with flint resistance up to 100% and also have a chance to apply bleed to the enemy. Activating the burst will deal up to 3260 damage percent at max limit break and it will increase your flint resistant duration to 30 seconds and add 5 stacks of bleed to the enemy. A decent spear, but to activate the burst se sequence, you need earth, trust earth, and earth to activate it, which can be hard since there aren't that many good earth spear skills out there yet. Right Hand Man in Black Koharu, a dagger burst skill that can do slash debuff to the enemy for 8 seconds and also have a chance to apply poison. When you activate the burst, you will deal a big number up to 3050% damage and also have a slash debuff duration increase to 24 seconds. Additional uh, is also add another 5 stacks into poison. The sequence to activate the burst is earth, earth slash earth, which can be hard to activate if you don't really have any earth dagger skills. Jet Black Rose Zujo, a sword burst skill that scales by defense, the more defense you have, the higher damage it will deal. It is a slash dark element with 22 SP cost and it has a dark debuff that increases your dark damage uh, to 50%. Activating burst will increase your duration of the debuff to 20 seconds. It's a decent burst skill but it can be hard to use since the sequence to use the burst is dark slash slash water, which means you need at least one water skill in your set. Knight of Black Flower Allies. This is a passive skill that are based on how many ally skills you have in your set. The more ally skills you have, the more additional effect you will get. Like equipping 4 ally skills in your set, you will receive 3% crit rate or equipping 6 allies. will give you 20% attack at maximum rate. And it's a very old skill that isn't that really useful. 
Obsidian Garden Asana is an awakening rapier skill with frost water elements and it has a chance to apply frostbite and also recover 8000 HP if you have it on switch. Uh, in my opinion, really bad skill and it could have been better if the frostbite was guaranteed. Black Attire Fairy Leafa is a, it is a passive skill that increases your HP if you have 2 or more creative skill record equipped. And if you have 3 creative skill record, it will give you up to 50% crit rate at maximum rate. And uh, this one is also all passive that you won't be using during the mid game. Black Attired Lancer Sachi, it, it is a spear burst with slash and holy element, 24 SP cost. And this one is a really good spear when it comes to spear break, but it kind of weak since it is an old burst skill, so it, it is only useful for spear break. And for burst sequence, it is easy to activate it since you only need frost, frost, and slash to activate it. Black Attire Dragon Tamer, Silica, a dagger burst skill with slash and fire element, 22 SP cost, and can apply burn at specific rate on the enemy and can also apply burn on yourself if you have it on switch. For the burst se sequence, is slash slash fire, so easy to activate it, but it, it is also an old burst skill, which means that the damage percent is weaker than the newer burst skills. Black Attire Legendary Sword Yuki, this one is a power skill that increases your attack up to 3% if you have 2 or more creative skill, and at 3 creative skills, it will add 5% more evasion rate, and since these are very old passive skills, you, you won't be really needed to use this one a lot. So not really useful for now. Black Attire Sniper Xenon, a bow burst skill with a thrust and fire elements. It has a high SP which is at 28 and it also has an old burst skill so the damage percent is weaker than a newer. But the bonus on the skills is really good, so you can use it as a mod folder for your mod bow. Activating the burst, you will need fire, thrust, and thrust to activate. Lastly, we have Black Attire Flash Asuna, a passive skill that increases your crit rate up to 20% if you have two or more creature skill record equipped. And at three creature skill record, it will increase your crit damage up to 3%. Really good passive skill if that you won't be using it on your set though, so here it's time. So that was all the inf small information you will need about the each skills, and here is the pawns and cons on what I think about the skill. Plus is what is good about the skill, and minus is what is bad with the skill. And you can pause the video and go through if you want, but I will be answering the simplest question for those that are still wondering if this banner is worth to pull or not. Is Black Rayman worth the pull? As a free to play, it depends how far you have progressed and if you are completely competitive or not. If you are free to play that you started to the game or free to play that you just wanted to enjoy the story, this banner is definitely not worth the pull because there's a lot of skill. This banner is mostly meant to for the competitive players. So if you are a free to play that have been playing for a while and also are competitive, uh, is on the top guilds, top 20, top 10 guilds, and want to compete with other guilds, then this ban is definitely worth the pull since there are few skills that you really, really want to have for GOG. And for wells, definitely worth it yet if you don't have them yet, and if you are really serious into competitive, definitely worth it yet. But in my case, since I'm not really playing this game so much, I won't pull on it on my main. But since my free to play account is in a guild, I probably make another video where I try out this banner and try to see if I can get the skills I need. Otherwise, uh, I was wasting AG on my free to play account. But yeah. Hopefully, this video was helpful since it has been a while since I made one of these videos, even though I don't spend that much in this game. And if you plan to pull on this banner, I wish you a good luck. And I will see you guys in the next video. So take care now and bye bye.